Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a jam-packed bumper update video with loads of news related to Mega, mostly Halo and a couple of other lines as well. We got a lot of deals, we got a lot of updates, new product information, there's a lot of really cool stuff to dive into. The first thing I'm going to highlight is something that I posted on my social medias a little while ago. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Motion Domain, as well as TikTok, but I don't really recommend you actually use that. There was a really great deal found online for $16 called the Halo Small Vehicles Collection. This is on Amazon, and I've put a link to everything that I'm talking about in the description and the comments of this video, but you can check out that one in particular. I really recommend it. It's $16, and you get two small vehicles. This can vary between the Recon Getaway, Hijacked, Ghost, Gun Goose Gambit, Ghosts of Requiem, and Mongoose Outriders. That actually took me a lot of attempts, and uh, particularly, I'd be very excited to see if you got a Ghost of Requiem and a Mongoose Outriders for $16. $16. That is a crazy good deal. That is actually an Amazon affiliate link, so you'll pay the exact same as normal on Amazon, but I'll get a little cut of that little sweet cheddar. We got a lot of updates, and most of them are coming from Mega Constructs News. On Twitter and Instagram, they are the number one source for Mega Constructs News. I usually reiterate a lot of what they say. They have really fast, up-to-date news on any stuff that's uh, leaking online or going through the Squad 45 Discord or on official Mega channels or anything like that. They've actually started to slow down on talking about leaks because I think Mega are really trying to up their, you know, community engagement anyway, and I think we should only talk about official stuff from now on. A really cool piece of information from the Squad 45 Discord where Yan MCX and Kevin MCX live, and uh, yeah, they are actually employees of Mega. They confirmed the other day that we're actually getting a redesigned plasma rifle next year, which apparently, I mean, it is a long time coming. The plasma rifle is way too bulky. I've had the 3D printed versions, and yeah, we do need the scaled down version, so we are actually getting that next year. The other cool thing Kevin MCX shared this week is blind bag images. The brand new Halo Infinite Series 5 blind bags, five Spartans. They actually have cool blue translucent base plates, which is a new uh, thing, a new interesting idea. And these look phenomenal. I love them. They are three Spartans from the Halo TV show. Chief definitely and Varric definitely, and then either Kai or Riz, I'm still not entirely sure. Every time I ask about this, the comments are like equally arguing between whether it's Kai or Riz. So we've got three Halo TV show Spartans, and then an AC Yoroi, which does look beautiful, and the new pilot. And I know the pilot is not in Halo Infinite, and I know the Halo TV show Spartans may never get into Halo Infinite, but there is season two on the way, so I think it is probably likely they're added into the game at some point, so maybe Mega's getting ahead of the curve. It is also interesting to see a blind bag series with five Spartans, and it was brought to my attention recently. This will be the first ever blind bag series without a grunt. Can we just get a moment of silence for all the lost grunts that won't be in blind bags this year? Thank you. Thank you for showing your respect. Talking about blind bags, entertainmentearth.com for the first time in a long, long time have listed full cases of blind bags for pre-order as well as full cases of Halo Heroes. And let me break down exactly what you get here. So the Halo Mega Series 17 listing has a picture of Series 18, so it might actually be Series 18 you get, but it's a really good value thing. $105 for a full case of 21 Halo Heroes, but a full case for $105 only comes out at $5 per hero. Hero. There'll be shipping costs on top of that, maybe tax on top of that, but that is a really good price. Then the full case of blind bags, that is $128, 32 blind bags, which comes out at $4 each. I'll do, I'll buy a box, watch me, fight me, I'll buy a box. Just, just you wait until I get a box. We also have a confirmed rarity listing for all the blind bag figures. The three Spartans from the Halo TV show are the common figures, and the pilot is a rare, and the Yoroi is an ultra rare. I always like when my AC is an ultra rare, I think that's good, although we need to bring chase figures back, please. And we have had it confirmed before that the pilot's helmet is removable, like the haunted helmet from the Halo Hero. Okay, what else have we got? Oh yeah, big win, or big W, shall I say, for Australian Halo Mega fans. They've actually got restocks of Halo Mega for the first time in years. It's from a store called Big W, so if you're an Australian fan, you can get it at Big W dot com. Maybe, maybe it's called Big W dot com. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we got so much more still to go. Okay, it seems like the Traxxas Factory Flood has a new limited sort of packaging inside the box, which looks really dope. The Masses of the Universe Mega Line. Eternia Battleground has been announced. It looks really sick, and they, they're like, Masses of the Universe, I don't know if, if Mega's watching this, I don't know who makes the Masses of the Universe packaging and box art and, you know, 
display imagery, but like they do an amazing job. Some of these pictures are awesome. They look like they're straight out of a TV show. So well done, Meg. I have in my notes in quotations, badass artwork. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It also seems series 18 Halo Heroes has just been found at Maya. It seems like Maya and a lot of the West Coast are finding heroes a lot more than anywhere else. But my best advice is if you can't find them, go to a Facebook group like the Mega Constructs Domain or my Discord and just put out a post saying, hey, does anyone have any blind bags? Particularly, I know that um, Halo Universe Series 2 blind bags have been found in a lot of places over the last couple of weeks. So just post on one of the groups and be like, hey, I really need X amount, can you help a guy out? And I'm sure someone might come to your aid. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to talk about today, guys, was the Mega Halo fan vote, which I know you've seen a lot of videos on my channel about, is still up for pre-order. Originally, the set was only meant to have a very tight windowed release, only being able to be pre-ordered for two weeks. That just never stopped. They never took down the pre-order. They said they were going to extend the pre-order for another two weeks, uh, to paraphrase them, basically saying that they wanted as many people to be able to buy it as they could. But at this point, the pre-order is still up, and I kind of feel like the pre-order will just be up until they've sold out. I don't know any more further details on it. My best advice is don't see this as any kind of negative. If Mega needs to continue having this up for pre-order, that's fine. Perhaps in the future they won't do limited release windows. I don't know. But at the end of the day, if you still want to grab the Halo Multiplayer Mayhem, the Mega Fan Vote 2023 winner, you can check it out at Mattel Creations. Again, I will have left a mega list of mega links down below. Now that they're called mega instead of mega constructs, it does lead into just more, more just sort of incorporating the word mega into a sentence, which I, I kind of do like. But yeah, this is a, a slightly new format for me. I got, I got the microphone on a little crane, which is pretty fun. I also want to thank you all for your support of my mega halo sale. I'm in a, a tight window right now where, you know, I try and be transparent with the community as much as possible. I want to continue making these videos and I want to scale up the production of these videos and the quality of the, these videos. And I want to make this into a full time. I mean, I am full time right now, but it's not paying my bills and I want to continue to step it up. And uh, maybe I can't see the end goal right now. Maybe I don't know what I'm going to be doing f like financially and artistically and for work in the future, but right now I love doing this and I will I will give anything for this community. I, I genuinely mean that. This mega halo sale that I've just done has raised enough money to buy a brand new camera. You won't believe the quality upgrade once I get that new camera, it will be massive. I'm currently sorting out another massive uh, lot that I just purchased near London. I'm gonna have that on sale within the next week and a half. So I know you guys will support me when that's up as well. So thank you so much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Go check out Mega Constructs News. They are where I get most of my information and they are a great news source. And as always, you stay awesome. You stay oh so super duper safe out there, folks. And I'll see you in the next video. Go get some good set. I, I definitely recommend that. That um, I'll be transparent with you. I've pre-ordered 10 lots of these double packs. So essentially 20 of these. If I end up with a ton of Mongoose Outriders and then I can just distribute them in the UK to some of my friends, it's a win, 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 win. Win, 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 times 20. Signing off. See you next time. Oh, and also the battle rifle is going to be modified, so it now takes muzzle flashes. Okay, bye.